quickly before the video starts, I'm doing a Q&A soon, so if you want a shout out, leave a question down below. And this goes without saying, thank you for the video suggestion. We all knew this video existed and it was bound to happen for me to expose part 4, the end of the Clown King trilogy. So without further ado, let's close down this trilogy and expose this video. 10 seconds of fun to remind us that we're watching the downfall of the Clown King, and 5 second intro to remind us that we're watching Stromedy. Also, 15 second intro is equivalent to 15 second unskippable ladder, and that alone deserves an official fake plaque. So I understand the video continues where part 3 left off, and something I feel to mention part 3 is something separates Stromedy and his henchmen from the guard. I'll accept that the guard lacked peripheral vision due to his helmet, but there's no way he did not hear Stromedy. <laughs> I'm compelled to leave another fish fake plaque for this, but I'm saving it, and I know later on I'll be adding it anyway, so I'm just gonna be nice about it and give this video some hope. So Stromedy and his henchmen are taking the stairs, and we all know Jan is upstairs in the tower. This is part 4, and they finally reach the stairs. I know this castle's big, but... Damn it. It does not take three and a half full videos to reach the staircase. I mean, in part two, they could have avoided all the guards as the Clown King and the guards were outside the castle. All that time, they could have found any staircase and made their way upstairs to save Yana. But the fact that they found themselves in the lowest part of the castle tells me that calling a SWAT team in part one would have been a better solution. Yeah, night out. No, dude, it's better if we just sneak around them for now. We've already taken way too many out. The Clown King is going to be able to trace us if he sees where the bodies are going to be. But you can hide the bodies. That's what you did in part two. In part one, you left the bodies for the Clown King to see. Yeah, he wasn't able to trace you at all. He went looking for you. Then five minutes later, he's inside the castle. So I have no idea what the Clown King was doing. Was he looking for you or did he disappear to make a reappearance in part two? Okay, go, 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 but why do they still have to be sneaky? Three of them were wearing guard outfits. And there's no way they could be mistaken as a prisoner since the guards don't know they escaped. And these outfits look pretty much the same as normal guards. So this sneaking thing is a waste of time. Let's take us to the top of the tower. Yeah, dude, this looks like it would take us up towards where Yana would be. This looks like a very inconvenient spot to place stairs that lead to a tower dungeon. That's all I'm saying. How the fuck do these clowns manage to capture Yana? The guards are always sleeping, and the Clown King did not even know what to do with Yana, and he took a vote from his guards. So now my question is, how did these clowns get this far? All these clowns are far too incompetent to even uphold their duty, and we all know apparently the Clown King is the source to all the clown problems. So it blows my mind how this incompetency led to divisions of clowns all over the US and Canada. This is insane right now. Dude, look. One way up, one way up. Look, this must be the tower, dude. Look. Well, it is the tower. I mean, this whole castle is doors attraction in the middle of Toronto. Some guide posters are mandatory in places like this. Now, let's hypothesize that this is indeed the clown castle. Did guards regularly get lost before these posters were posted? I mean, every sign has a story behind it. So, did the clowns on dungeon duty get lost coming here? Okay, this is total incompetency. And I think it was more incompetent of Yana to get captured by these clowns. Also, prisoners are escorted up these very narrow stairs. So the guards just say, climb forward. I will be behind you to ensure you don't escape because there's no way multiple people people or clowns should fit down these stairs. Where up does this go? Now, how did this guard not hear them? And most importantly, what's the story? Shouldn't he be guarding Yana? Be careful, Justin. Get him, get him, get him! Okay, this is literally murder. The clickbaiter literally inserted his sword into the guard's neck. And now my question is, where's the blood? I mean, clowns have blood, right? Considering all living things need oxygen, a clown needs some sort of fluid to run the oxygen around his body. So, where's the blood? Is that not family friendly enough? So why isn't Yana behind bars? Do you guys sit freely while being babysat by a guard? Oh, you humans! Please just let me go. You know my friends are gonna come here, and you know they're gonna win, right? Okay, how did Yana know they'll be coming for her? Yeah, the Clown King did send Shamini a video of Yana, but this doesn't ensure anything. It all falls into one question: How did Yana know her friends are coming? There is no way she was made aware of intruders. She spent the whole trilogy in the tower, so like. How does she even know? Also, what are they exactly doing with Yana? In part 2, the Clown King didn't know what to do with her. So, what's the point of keeping her up there? What purpose is she serving? Dude, it's Yana. Guys, I found Yana. She's oh, there. Oh, Yo, she's locked up. She's locked up on top of the tower, but there's a knight. There's a knight up there that I gotta deal with. I mean, you don't really have to deal with him. You're wearing your guard uniform. Just to do the same thing Alex did and you're home free. But that means the video would be over quickly. And that's not acceptable. Yo, you guys stay back okay. and only come if I need your help. Okay. I'm gonna go up there and try to rescue her. What? What kind of f***ing plan is this? There are four abled bodies to outnumber the guard four to one. Why must it just be Stromney? Is he trying to show off that he can single-handedly take down a guard? Does Stromney seriously sink in without being heard by the guard or Yana? I gotta give 10 official fake plaques for this. This was too set up, but I'm resisting the urge not to. You got the keys from the guy in the dungeon? The ones that he stole off of me? You got them. You took them from the guy in the dungeon? 
So the keys he stole off the guard are for the cuffs? Okay, I have questions. Firstly, why did the guard that was downstairs have the keys? Yana was cuffed all the way up in the tower. Secondly, why was the guard that was guarding not have the keys? Thirdly, how does it make any sense to cuff Yana on the highest floor, then go all the way downstairs? Having another guard watch her. It doesn't make sense, because this is total competency. Also, all this is happening while the guard is on the other side. Some mystery how he didn't turn around, but also didn't hear any of this. Oh, no, no, yo, 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 crap, what do we do, what do we do? Really? What do we do? I knew Stromy went this far without a plan. I called it in part one. Oh, you really think you can get away from us like this? Yeah, skip the last yeah, thing you ever do. How you like being chained up now? Yeah, how you like- I don't know, considering the guard is groaning, I'd have to say he's really enjoying himself. Also, Cuffs used universal keys. So if the original keys were all the way downstairs, wouldn't this guard have a second set of keys? Are you not gonna search his pockets like you did for the first and second ones? Yeah, how do you like it, huh? Oh, yeah. Who the hell is this? Oh, this is Yana. I almost forgot because she was barely in the other episodes. How do you like that? Who's the scum of the earth now? Could you please let me use the washroom? <laughs> I'm removing in Fish Freak Black for this. Yo, Yana is rescued. We got what we came for. But this is still not over yet. We still gotta get out of here. Wait, did you bring the rope? No, no, I don't have a rope. How high are we right now? Oh, uh, just go back the way you came. 30 seconds of consequences followed by not having a plan. Yo, all the knights in the castle are coming up. Oh my god. Okay, and how do these guards know you're up here? Were you too loud? These clowns did not call for backup, and there was no point in the video of them ever calling backup. So how do all the guards know you're up here? He's unlocking him. Yo, oh my god. He's unlocking him. Okay, now this guard completely contradicts Tromney's assumptions on of guard not having a key. How does this guard have a key, but the guard that was guarding a prisoner didn't? Is carrying handcuff keys considered a privilege or an art acquired by training, since not all the guards have them? Hold the line, guys! Hold the line! Prepare for battle! And literally 15 seconds ago, Shomley said all the guards from the castle entered the scene, but there are literally four guards here, which includes the guard that was guarding Yana. So three guards amounted to all the guards. In part one, we saw five guards in one scene. Shomley and Sanctuary killed at least five guards, and giving five is a fair estimate, it would make no sense for them to only be three guards left. So my question is, who the f*** are these three dudes? And are we ever gonna see them again? You're not ready for the Clown King! What? The Clown King? Wait! Yo! That's the Clown King! So like, is the Clown King the final boss? Because there is no way in monarchy the guards would let their king fight the enemy, whilst the king has guards at his disposal. Hey! You think you can infiltrate my castle? I mean, to be fair, he did infiltrate your castle. This is why we're on this scene in the video. I got a potion! I took a potion right here! Potion right there? Get him, Justin! Get him! Get him! Oh! You got him! You hit him! Oh my- These guards further prove competency after standing around and letting their king get down some suspicious fluids. 50 seconds of Dollar Tree branded sword fights. The Clown King! Oh! What have you humans done? Oh, you human! Not the potion! What did you do? You human! You- you have no idea! I'm melting! And more competency shown by the guards. Val Majesty is dying. Let's stand around and look at him die. And even though this plastic sword battle was not formally finished, I mean, are the guards not gonna help their king? Oh, you took the crown? King. The, crown. the, the king, king is dead! If you think about it, it took Stromney four videos only to show us that how monarchy ends. Four videos for a scene like this that only lasts around 30 seconds. I know Stromney wanted to create a miniseries, but damn. Don't make us wait four videos only for it to get the laziest ending ever. And we rescued Yana! Yes! Thank you guys, you don't know what you've done! What do you mean? He's been holding us captive for centuries, forcing us to play along to his evil game! Bro, you're his guard. You could've killed him any time. You know Adolf Hitler had over 40 assassination attempts. His own men literally tried killing him over 40 times. And this wasn't even monarchy, it was a dictatorship. So why is it that Hitler's men tried killing him so many times, but you couldn't do that for the clown king? It makes no sense. The guards aren't his prisoners. I mean, they, I mean, they could've freed plotted against his downfall. Also, Stromney did say taking down a clown king would end all the clown problems. But Stromney still uploads clown videos, so this monarchy isn't a one-man show. Someone else is in on a clown king. Also, also, since the guard said he's free, what motivated other clowns like, let's say, the clown general to keep on terrorizing the humans? Someone in that position should've just got the word that the humans killed the clown king. Prime Capital! Yeah! Why is everyone cheering after the clickbaiters shouted Prime Capital? And if you don't know what Prime Capital was, this brand created by Stromedy. I'm pretty sure the clowns don't know what that is. So what are they cheering for again? Escort you out the castle. You're, you're gonna take us out to safety? Yeah. All right, let's 
kind. Much obliged. Thank you very much for freeing us. Thank you for freeing us. You're free to go. You're free to go. We know that you slaughtered our people, but we're forgiving you. Sorry for trying to kill you. You're free to go home. Ever done on this channel? I cannot believe the adventure we went through from breaching the clown headquarters to infiltrating the castle itself, getting called to the clown meeting, and then getting taken to the dungeon, and from the dungeon, rescuing Yana at the top of the tower, all the way over to the epic battle scene on the top of the clown headquarters, guys. You're showing me recap of the Clown King trilogy in case you didn't watch the other fucking parts. Also, will anyone else agree with me that this is the laziest ending ever? It seems that Shawnee and his henchmen went so far into making the trilogy, but were rather lazy on the ending. So, like, can we not get such an ending? It's too family friendly? It's okay to see a little bit of violence, or at least some action packed fighting after Clown King's downfall. I hate how this video ends. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, that is pretty much it for me today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you enjoy your stay. And if you're a hater, leave a dislike below so now you watch the video. And if you're a subscriber, stay beautiful, my friend. I'll see you guys on the next video, and I am out. Peace.